What happens when an OMAD intermittent faster goes from a very loose approach, how I like to approach OMAD, to a very strict approach for an entire month? All of June, I challenged myself to have at least 23 hours fasted in a day and no more than a single hour in my eating window for the entire month of June. This meant I could eat any time of the day, whether it was breakfast, lunch, late night movie, and have a one hour eating window maximum. And then the rest of the time, the rest of the 23 hours in that day would be in a fasted state. During my fast, I would have iced tea, iced coffee, black coffee, iced water. And if I didn't have flavored element in my eating window, I would have the raw unflavored in my fasting window. So that's the challenge. 23 hours in the fasted, the handful of drinks only, and then one hour maximum each day in an eating window for the entire month of June. I challenged myself and here is what happened and what I thought of the challenge. I wanted to see if I was extremely strict, would I see a big difference in my enjoyment of the lifestyle, if I was able to stick with it, and would I see a huge difference in my weight. Before we keep going and I share with you my results, I wanna take a moment to tell you about my sponsor, Element. Element is a science-backed electrolyte formula. It is full of only good things, the things that you need, and it doesn't have fillers or junk that you don't need. It has 1,000 milligrams sodium, 60 milligrams magnesium, and 200 milligrams of potassium. It's gonna help you stay refueled, hydrated, and feeling good all day long. It's meant for everyday people like me. I'm a stay-at-home mom, intermittent faster, all the way up to Olympic athletes use this. I love taking this to stay hydrated, to keep me fueled, and to keep me from getting sore legs while I do longer fasts. Sore legs are something I used to battle before Element was part of my regular routine. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. This is a great way to try all eight flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash fasting foodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fasting foodie. Don't forget they have this grapefruit salt for the summer. It is a wonderful summer flavor. It's not available all the time. So make sure if you hop on to drinkelement.com slash fasting foodie, you check out this flavor. It is so good. Thank you Element for sponsoring this video. So I'm a positive person. I'm gonna start with what I thought were the benefits of this. First of all, it was super easy. If I wanted to do anything in my day, I didn't feel restricted. I can meet a friend for breakfast. I could go out to dinner with a friend. I could go celebrate my anniversary, my birthday. I could go to my in-laws house. I could go to the movies. There was no restriction on what I ate, which is really important to me as an intermittent faster. That's what helps me to stay in this lifestyle. So being able to have any hour of any day worked really well for me. I was able to plan my day around what was happening in my life, not a strict hour, right? It, it wasn't 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. every day. It was any hour of the day and that gave me a lot of time. So if I wanted to eat lunch one day, yes, I would have a longer fast to get to dinner the next day. But that was just what I like to call fasting math and I got very used to it. I'm very used to moving my eating windows. So I really liked that I was able to do whatever I wanted by moving my hour every day. Naturally, if I fast and my maximum eating window is one hour, my fast is already gonna be 23 hours the rest of the day. I never felt restricted in terms of enjoyment because I was able to eat whatever I wanted in that hour. I was able to be satisfied in terms of quantity, quality, and enjoyment of food. No limits on the food allowed me to feel really good every single day. And the fact that it was every day meant every day was enjoyable and the fasts in between weren't difficult because I enjoyed my eating windows every day. I think I'm so successful with fasting because I do find it much easier to restrict my time, not the choices. And that is exactly what this challenge was, was a time challenge. And because of that, I felt like I was super successful. I did it every single day. I never had a day where I broke it or I decided to go a little over. Every day I hit it and I'm proud of that. Now for the downfalls. Downfall number one, it took more planning than just opening my eating window and closing it. There were times, say my anniversary dinner, we went to a restaurant and I did order a drink and I also ordered an appetizer. Well, if they didn't come out together, I waited to have the appetizer and the drink when they were both there together. I didn't wanna start my eating window early and waste you know, 10 minutes of it drinking when I only had 60 minutes. So it took a little bit more planning or even at home, a lot of times if we got carry out pizza, 
Normally, I might eat a salad before I go pick up the pizza and then I come home and have the pizza. Well, I just had to condense it more, making sure that everything was ready and available, took more effort, took more planning. And because it was all there and ready, I tended to have actually much shorter than our eating windows because I planned so much so that I wouldn't go over. It didn't take me long to eat the food. <laughs> Another negative is I sometimes felt like the strict hour was just silly. It was more of an inconvenience, not because I felt like I couldn't enjoy the foods that I wanted, but I just felt like it was more nuisance than anything. And a great example of this is my birthday. I wanted to go to my favorite restaurant that is about a half an hour from my house, La Casina. It's a Mexican restaurant and I love their flautas. So good. It's meat and a fried tortilla and they put this like crema sauce on top. I just love it. It's so good. Anyways, that is about half an hour from my house. So if I sat there, ate dinner, I can't drive back here and have dessert or a birthday cake at my house. We ended up eating dessert at the restaurant. Is that a big deal? Did it ruin my birthday? Absolutely not. But the timing was a nuisance. I would have preferred to eat at the restaurant and come here and have a birthday dessert here with my family, let dinner settle a little bit. It wasn't a big deal. But again, sometimes the time just felt like a nuisance. But that's what the challenge is, isn't it? It's seeing if I can stick to it 30 days in a row, and I did, but sometimes it got annoying. Finally, this last negative, I'm kind of calling it a negative, even though it didn't feel like a big deal. I have developed as part of the quick hour eating window, this now or never mindset. Because I spent so much time planning and making sure that I had my veggies and my meal and my drink and my element and all of the parts that I wanted in my eating window, I also, went a little overboard. I kind of had this now or never feeling. Often when I do OMAD, I close my eating window after dinner and then if I want dessert later, I open it back up and I adjust my times in my eating window. But more often than not, I don't want it and it stays closed. I didn't have that option. When I only have an hour, it was like, I don't have the ability to decide I want ice cream or to decide that I want a piece of pie later. And even though I normally don't do that, I felt very compelled to have it every night. I ate a lot more desserts and I had a lot more alcoholic beverages because of that. Because I knew it wasn't an option later, it made me wanna have it in my eating window. So I definitely had more desserts and more drinks in June than I normally do in a month. And I call that a negative only because I didn't like how it messed with my mentality. The, the developing the now or never mindset was the negative. I really enjoyed my eating windows. I enjoyed the food that I had in every single eating window. And I don't view that as a negative necessarily. It was just the more feeling like if I don't do it now, I'm not gonna do it later. I didn't like the the mental burden that came with that. And it wasn't a burden because I satisfied it. I ate a lot of dessert. The other part of it is I did do this challenge when I have my birthday, family dinners for birthdays, I had my anniversary, and all of those are celebratory times. So I definitely eat more dessert probably in higher times of celebration, but then add on the now or never mindset. I was regularly having leftover birthday dessert in my eating windows or making sure that I had something sweet because I knew it wouldn't be an option later. Big deal, no, but I didn't like the game of it. Now the part you may really be wondering, did I lose weight? And drum roll, I lost technically 0.6 pounds, but both of my weights were very much within my range of normal and the 0.6 pound difference could have just been a difference of what I ate both of the days prior. And I definitely didn't feel like I lost weight. I was very satisfied. I talked about how I had more indulgence in every single eating window just because of the now or never mindset. And because I'm so used to doing OMAD, I don't think having a strict OMAD really made a difference. Because I still only eat one meal a day and maybe I have my appetizer or my dessert a little earlier or later, I really don't think that having the strict hour made a big difference in my weight or weight loss. But if you're going from a two meal a day structure or a 16 a and then you go to a strict OMAD, I bet it would make a big difference. But for me, I already was pretty much doing OMAD most of my days. I just had a more loose time frame associated with it. 
I did not expect to see a weight loss. I'm not disappointed by it. It was, this was strictly curiosity. Whatever the results were was a success because I didn't have an objective with this. I just was curious. So I satisfied my curiosity and I really got to enjoy every single eating window. What this shows to me is my body is very comfortable with OMAD. I respond really well to it. I have maintained in this same weight range for a very long time. And without doing something like limiting my carbs or doing extended long fast regular I am staying here because I don't want to diet. I don't want to restrict foods and I'm very, very happy with this choice. And the cool thing is I can see that I can have more loose, even though I, I still feel like I'm very much within the OMAD realm on a daily basis. I don't feel like it has to be a strict 23-1 for me to see success. I didn't see a huge drop in weight by being really strict. I still was very much enjoying my eating window. I love having good foods every day and I was able to do that. So I really enjoyed this challenge. And the biggest result of this is I still want to do OMAD. I did not get to a point where I thought, okay, when is this challenge gonna end? Yes, I looked forward to the more loose time approach where I could go to dinner and then have my dessert at home. Like that is nice and I'm glad to be out of the strictness of it. But the challenge made me love OMAD even more. I loved every single eating window. I was able to enjoy myself, enjoy food, enjoy company and fast on for another day. Now, if you are curious like me and you wanna see what I ate every single day of June in those single hour eating windows, you can check out this playlist right here. I made a short every single day of what I ate in June and you can see all of them in a row right here. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, Don and ciao.